Hi everybody, Jeff Simon here for NBAA 2024. I'm here at Joby with Greg Bowles, who is the Head of Government Policy for Joby Aviation. How are you doing, Greg? Hey, Jeff. Thank you so much for coming by. There is so much going on, and especially uh, fantastic to talk to you with the announcement yesterday of the SFAR, the new regulation that's going to have to do with powered lift aircraft. That must have a major impact for Joby. Can you tell me a little bit, uh, just in general, about what that policy announcement and the speed that they did that is going to mean for your business? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, the FAA doesn't often introduce brand new operating segments for new categories of aircraft. Yeah. Um, you know, the FAA said the last time they did this was for rotorcraft. So yeah. it's been almost 80 years, um, but the FAA has now created a new commercial segment uh, for powered lift aircraft like Joby's um, and a pathway to efficiently bring pilots into the ecosystem so we can operate. We've been working a long time to certify the aircraft with FAA and bring this into reality. Um, this was really the final regulatory piece that was mm -hmm. going to need to come across the line to help us be successful. This it, it just seems like, I mean, this is one of the first times that the FAA has done something in such a short amount of time. It basically was a year to a year and a half and they were done with completely new regulation, as you mentioned, that may, that enables an entire segment of aviation. Now, the other thing I want to ask you about is, is Joby itself. It seems like from the beginning, there's been a ton of different players there, but public perception and my perception in the industry has been Joby's been the leader from the very beginning. Uh, what is it that makes that happen? Where is the what's happening with investment and support of your industry that comes and focuses and makes something like this possible for you? So, you know, Joby began very early on. Mm -hmm. So uh, when the company began in 2008, 2009, it was uh, it was times when people didn't really understand electric aircraft. Yes. And we've continued to work through the technical challenges, the regulatory challenges and to grow the company. Um, we, we are very, very fortunate, but we also have a really hard working team and, and we are very passionate about success. Um, you know, uh, most recently we were super excited that our partner Toyota has mm -hmm. leaned in more and helped us uh, with a new $500 million investment um, in the company to, to help us uh, really accelerate our path towards commercial operations. I think that's really, I mean, that's the key right there is something like Toyota that is so so entrenched, such a stalwart of, of industry and looking at the fact that they are all about transportation, not just about cars, but about transportation and that they've chosen Joby to make a major investment in. Um, now, it's pretty cool to see the aircraft, of course, here at the show. Um, can you tell me a little bit about where you are in the stage of development? Yeah, so, uh, you know, once upon a time, we were working with FAA at stage one of certification, creating mm -hmm. our certification rules. Yeah. And we moved through stage three, through stage four, uh, sorry, through stage two, through stage three. Today, we're in stage four, which is the actual testing, doing the certification testing. Um, those tests are witnessed by FAA folks, uh, signed off, and then the FAA receives those reports of the test being completed, and that finishes stage five. So um, very, very close to, to finishing up those pieces. The conversation that came across the line um, with FAA here at the booth uh, yesterday, um, the administrator has kind of talked about the importance of the segment and the U.S. leadership in aviation over the long yes. run. Uh, and that, and we're really, really excited and lucky to be a part of that. It's, it's, a, it's amazing times in aviation, and I think everybody in the space feels the buzz. And this show has been amazing. Yeah, it's been really cool to see Michael Whitaker's focus on that understanding that this is important for the United States to be a leader in and that the regulation sets the way for that along with the technology and the support of the companies like Joby that make all of this possible. When, when we finally get to the point that, that rollout starts, that you see the initial part of this, how do you envision that looking? What does that look like for the first phases of the public actually getting to fly in an aircraft? So, you know, behind us on the wall, you can see we're showing some of the flights we did in New York City back in November. Mm -hmm. uh, and those were amazing flights. Um, the city of New York committed to electrifying its heliports. Uh, the public was able to look and feel and see the aircraft flying around mm -hmm. the landscape of New York City. Um, aside, the resounding comment from the public was, um, this is really quiet. Yeah. And this is amazing and, and an incredible age to be living in. So really positive feedback. Uh, we've committed to launching in markets like New York City and Los Angeles. One of our key operating partners here in the U.S. is Delta Airlines. We're mm -hmm. really excited to partner with them uh, to do those initial rollouts. Um, so very, very soon, uh, you'll see some amazing offerings. Um, we would love to have folks come by and, and get in the aircraft, look, touch, feel, get familiar, uh, learn how to fly our aircraft. Yeah. Um, it, it's really exciting times for a new new chapter of aviation. Absolutely. It it, it's very exciting. It makes a lot of sense. And as you mentioned, you're talking about efficiency 
see you're talking about noise reduction and making it all kind of cost effective to, to be there. But you also mentioned something else, which is improving the infrastructure of like electrifying heliports. What happens when you then have all the ability to, to do this and roll it out at scale? Uh, do you see challenges in terms of being able to, to ramp up actual availability of vertiports or you know new types of, of ways? Because you got to land somewhere in these yeah. congested cities. So, so when we talk about the airspace being congested today, what we're really saying is the airports at these really high density, uh, the runways at these really high density airports are, are congested, oh, yeah. right? So Atlanta, mm -hmm. uh, uh, some of the key airports, the actual tarmac is really tough to get bigger, big iron aircraft on. Um, but even at those airports, there are opportunities for helicopters to come in. There are um, uh, great opportunities for a craft like Joby to come in along those same pathways. And then when we look beyond those initial high density airports in the U.S., there are 5,080 public use airports across the U.S. Uh, you add the heliports, you get to numbers of over 10,000 pieces of existing infrastructure. Yeah. So what you'll see in the early days is leveraging those underutilized assets that are all over mm -hmm. the country, um, flying day night VFR routes across key yep. locations and connecting people in really good ways. Um, I think your gut is, and my gut is, this is going to be wildly successful yep. and we're going to start to grow in density. And so as we spread out and start to use that infrastructure more and more, people are going to ask for new infrastructure. Yeah. They're going to say like, hey, so I don't want to have to- demand will come from the public. Yeah, the public's going to yeah. demand, like, I don't want to have to drive 15 minutes to my local airport or heliport. I want something closer. Mm -hmm. um, so we've designed this aircraft to be extremely quiet so that when people ask for that local aviation infrastructure and when we can arrive safely, quietly, and efficiently, that it will be an even more virtuous circle. Um, and so that's the, the next chapter as we all start to use these on more of a daily basis. Excellent. Well, congratulations on your presence here at MBAA. It's really fantastic to see the aircraft. We'll give everybody a close uh, look at that uh, after this. And uh, I just want to say congratulations and thanks so much for being so successful in this segment Thank and you. with a new regulation. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. For NBAA 2024, I'm Jeff Simon. I wish you all blue skies.